I think we're good now. This is our this is our final team. Our A team is what? 73, 68, 68, 66. And our B team is like, I know Prim 65. Or is it 66 now? It's either 65 or 66. Um, Tressa and Ulbrich are both 62 and Alphen 60. With the entire squad above level 60, that should be enough. So now let's head on over to the um, Ruins of Hornburg. Creepy, no music. Kinda wish I had Ulbrich here. I, sh I should've put him in my party, but there's no place to change your party from here. So we head down. Let's save here. The Ruins of Hornburg. Here we go. Is that so? So find father on the other side? Truly? Indeed. Trust me, Kit. He is there, waiting for you. Hmm. I see. Very well, then. Hmm. Is something the matter? Oh, forgive me. Pray forgive me. I'm not feeling so well. Why don't you go on ahead? I'll catch up soon. Yes. I'll be waiting for you. What have oh, we here's done? a familiar face. Fancy meeting you here. Hmm. I trust you came for Kit, yes? However... Apologize, but the lad is quite special to me. My... soulmate, if you will. I think not. I'll thank you not to interfere. Oh. That's assuming you could interfere even if you wanted to. The gate pass of Finnis. Pass me on the gate of Finnis, and never again may you return to this world. I leave it to Follow you. Follow us if you so choose. But first, be certain that is truly the path you wish to tread. Farewell. Farewell. Yeah, let's go. The Gate of Finis. Oh, I can change the party here. Okay. This kind of reminds me of the, um... Of the Mega Man boss room. Do battle with the Unholy Presence. Okay, this is our A-team. We should be fine. This you ready is... for this? It looks like Primmy's, uh... Oh. My turn. Okay. You're too hard. Okay, she's already last. Or, uh, Simeon's already last. So. Yeah. Just, just bad. Okay. My turn now. Okay, let's give the BP boost to Therian. Oh, stars! Fill us with power! <laughs> Let's in the hunt begin it. Well 
let your wounds be healed. Okay. Yeah, we got plenty. Should have done heal more just so that she can overtake, but that's fine. Um. Let's do this. Now let's just do. Time to steal the show. Oh, 9999. Beautiful. What next? Um. No, let's study. Okay, dark. this now? Let's try this. Let's try bow and arrow first. Letting my arrow fly and true. Yeah. 
Hana needs one. Have this. Okay. Yeah, luckily we haven't had to heal. Let's use um, analyze. Okay, so no point in using the Actually, wait, let's use like uh, Better than a snare. Actually, I wouldn't mind giving a turn to, um, um to using this. <laughs> okay, the reason for that is we need to steal some SP. Ooh, accuracy down. That's nice. Uh, wind. to steal the show. Uh, 
Ajax, yeah, yeah. We need, um... How about this? Quickly. What next? <laughs> what is the logical course of action? Ten of us over here. Let in the hunt beginning. them at this point. Well, Cyrus needs to be uh, needs to be unmuted. But I feel like everyone else can be right, right, um, She's on Ophelia too. Here. Glacier, draw down. Gamer. Yeah, first time fighting um, these shadow bosses. I'm just using my strongest team, and there goes. Where's the nearest down goes power? number one. That wasn't too hard. It, it was just a matter of um, having to do with deal with him being silenced. Oh god, wall of text. I kept my faith. I stayed true to my convictions until the end. Several years before my death, a shadow fell upon my dear noble court. A shadow known as the Obsidians. They brought with them sweet words and false promises, but I would not lend them my ear. Once they came to understand that I would not be swayed to their way of thinking, they came after my life and time and again. Uh, I would not allow myself to be daunted. I dug deeper into the truth to uncover their intentions, their ties, the mastermind behind their villainy. My search eventually led me to learn of the Gate of Venice. In the end, I was murdered by the men who caught wind of my discoveries. Yet I do not regret my actions. I lived true to the words of my house and did all that I could for the sake of my people. My sole regret is that I have left Primrose alone to pick up the pieces of this broken life I left behind. My precious daughter should not have to bear such a burden on her shoulders. 
Primrose. You stood before my grave and told me, did you not? That you'd live true to what ta I had taught you. You're strong, my daughter. You found your own cause and purpose, and the purpose you found was the continuation of my very own. You carried on in my footsteps and finished what I started. My dear Primrose, when I think of how much you must have suffered all alone, all I can do is beg you to forgive me. Now the time has come for you to lay down your burden and rest. It is time you forget about me and find happiness. A happiness of your own this time, for I will always, I will always be with you, Jeffrey Hazelhart. Okay. Yeah, I think the only one that needs one is, um, is Cyrus. You gotta conserve these. Alright, let's go to number two. Who is this? I cannot fail! Oh yeah, this is, uh, Alphys, I think. I need to pick a fight with the wrong man. Out of my way. I'll just have uh Hanit and what it is. Coming okay. if thou darest. Let's try bow and arrow first. Oh that worked! That worked in a big way. Coming if thou darest. I'll not be defeated. Let's use that on Hanit. <laughs> nice. Let it come. Let's use Phoenix Storm. Oh boy. Let's see how much this one lands for. Loosen the air. Twenty six thousand. Beginning. Let's try pole arm.
Keep it up. Okay. My turn now. That isn't much for the SP that I'm, that I'm aiming for, but let's use this heavy heal. Bring about a miracle of healing! Could have done out of my way. What next? I am hitting him. I, hit, yeah. I am hitting him pretty hard. Dang! I thought that little like little firefly-like thing over there was. Uh, Angry. 
you're in not. 11,000! My turn. There we go. That's two down! Don't start things you can't finish. Okay, let's see what this one is. From Graham Crossford. All hope was lost. My beloved was gone forever. I finally finished the elixir, but it was too late. Mere days too late. My one true love had drawn her last breath just as I was racing back to her side, medicine in hand, and heart filled with renewed hope. For three days and three nights, I lost myself in tears. A river of tears too deep and raging for me to ford my way across it. It was at the fun after the funeral... The, the woman found me, Lie Black, she called herself. In the, in the depths of uh, my anguish, my life bereft of all meaning, she asked me a simple question, terrible in its implications. Wouldn't you like to see your beloved once more? That insidious offer, a mere whisper in the wind, took hold of me. Try as I might, I could not close my ears to it. If it wouldn't mean seeing my love even once more, then I would give my very life without regret. Lie Black uh, spoke of the Gate of Finis, which separates this world from the next. If I could find it and cast it open, I could bring my beloved back to my side. I had heard the legends before, but of, of course, but for the first time I found myself desperate to believe in them. Begging the help of one of Kit's companions, I set out to the southeast. It was a fool's journey, but what else remained of me but a fool's hope? On my ways, I, I passed through the village of Clearbrook. There I came across a young boy stricken with illness and lingering just outside Death's door. Convulsions wrecked wrecked his small frame, and his skin was mottled with a purplish pox. I recognized the symptoms at once. How could I not? It was the same foul malady that stole my beloved from me. I felt the touch of fate in this meeting. Though I, I had not been in time to save my true love, I still carried the elixir I had labored so long to create. A remedy that could do nothing for her now. There was no doubt in my mind what I must do, so I treated the boy with my medicine. When I looked at the boy's face, finally at peace and in calm repose, I saw my beloved again. And in her gentle eyes, I found forgiveness. I hope that I can do that too someday. Such were the boy's words to me when he was strong enough to speak again. He told me that he wished to follow my footsteps and become a great apothecary. His words were a reward I never expected. In that moment, I felt as though my journey was perhaps not a fool's one after all. I left what remained of the elixir and rest of my medicines behind with the boy. I set out once more, turning my feet again to the Gate of Finis. Little did I know that I was making the greatest mistake of my life. Okay. I have revitalizing jam as well as refreshing jam. Now we're truly topped off. Okay, boss number three. You ready for this? Oh, it's Darius. I 
think he shifts weaknesses at all. She needs to like hold trap. Better than a snare. Yeah, let's get that down. I'll do my best. Yeah, let's heal now. <laughs> Bring about a miracle of healing. 58, 46. Out of my way. I appreciate it. Really? I appreciate it. Really? Yeah, just, you know. 
Letting the hunt begin. <laughs> Out of my way. Keep it up. Letting my arrow fly in true. Coming. Holding back nothing. Stiletto of steel. 10,000 dead. I honor thee, my Just lord. Hysteria. From the time of my first memories, I recall my father lecturing me on the origins of our house. Or what it meant to be the head of, um, House Ravis. And what it was I must give my life to protect. My father had heard the same from his father, and his father from his father before him. The House of Ravis is blessed with many treasures, and many who covet them. To one born of the House of Ravis, such things are as natural and given as the blue of the sky above us. We are blessed with great treasures, and it is our duty to protect those treasures from those who would use them for ill. And among the, all the treasures, there were none greater than the Dragonstones. The Dragonstones were bestowed upon the first Lord Ravis by the legendary King Beowulf I of Hornburg. And they have passed down in our family ever since. The stones are said to have come from a land far to the east, and they were worth far more than their weight in gold. But that is not where their true value lies. The power sleeps within them, and it makes them valuable beyond mortal com comprehension. For the name Dragonstone is no simple fancy. The stones house the power of great worms for whose name they bear. It is said that the great uh, sorcerer Odin Crossford used the power of the Dragonstones to seal shut the Gate of Finnis. Crossford had campaigned together with King Beowulf and aided him in the founder, uh, founding of Hornburg. My father, when he was still with us, once told me this. Power in itself is neither good nor evil. It is the man who wields the blade who decides whether he fights for good or evil. That is why King Beowulf entrusted the stones to the man he trusted above all, above all others. The loyal knight who would become the first lord of House Ravis. Great power can bring about boundless good or unfathomable evil. It is the duty of our house to keep the Dragonstones safe and protect them from those who would wield them for the dark ends. But yet given enough time, great power will always awaken a hunger in others who would claim it for themselves. Once the Dragonstones came to House Ravis, there was no end to, to those who lusted after them. Not to mention many are many other riches. Even kith and kin cannot be trusted to stand against such temptation. Once, a rumor reached my ears that suspicious parties were inquiring into the whereabouts of the stones at the behest of my own relatives. It may be those who sabotaged the carriage my wife and I were riding in did so at the bidding of my own blood. Ah, my poor Cordeli Cordelia. What is to become of you? You're too gentle and ever doubt another. To ever doubt another. I feel that I fear that many will draw near to you, cloaked in the guise of kindness, and seek to deceive you. Cordelia, I can protect you no longer. No matter how I try to call out, my voice cannot reach you on the other side. Yet, uh, yet this I hope you know: though a time may come when you are betrayed by one you trust, I believe your heart will not falter. You will not lose your faith in people, and this is for the best. For there are those truly worthy of your unwavering trust, and you will find them and keep them close at your side. I held on to such faith, and I was rewarded with a loyal companion with a thousand other men. Heathcote has been true to me in all things. Surely such a friend will also appear before you, one worthy of your faith. And so I beg of you, Cordelia, never stop believing in others, for it is this faith that will save you in the end. Okay.
Lux, conjure in. Good, if it's light, then even Ophelia can join in on the attack. Well then. Oh, thank you. She's gonna be more she's gonna be pinging a lot more. I will not be defeated. Oh, save your life! Just get damage on. Ah! I appreciate it, really. Letting my arrow fly in true. Yeah. Anger and not. I'm beginning to think this is a Hanet. I don't look war I don't look forward to um See, that is... Oh, thank you, Truffle Scent! We are about to finish off... Well, we're still a long ways away, but we're on the road to finishing off uh, Octopath Traveler. My turn. But yeah, thank you for bringing your viewers here. Welcome okay. to my stream. I'll do my best! Okay, yeah, we can... Can afford to actually what we should do is we should give the boost too. Yeah, usually it's a good idea oh, to give stop. a on it. Fill us with power. My turn. Uh. What next? Okay. What is the logical course of action? Hype, yeah. It is truly hype. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna light. Yeah, I'm light. Letting my arrow fly in true. Now just keep it at that. My arrow fly and true. I was like, oh, yeah, like hold. Actually, I can hold off on that. We don't need it because he's going, because uh, the dragon's going Mind last. We don't need, like, old trap. Oh, uh, yeah, let's heal here. Bring about a miracle of healing. I know I could My turn. max damage up. <laughs> or that could happen! <laughs> oh, that worked out perfectly. Oh, no second hand. Ah. 
Lux Conjurer! Coming, coming! Anger and not. 9475. Letting the hunt begin. Yeah! Yeah, I might as well. Better than a snare. There are six turns of last after. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Oh, it could have been worse. My turn now. What next? If I would have lost Cyrus, that would have been bad. Lux Conjurer! What next? I'll do my best. Letting my arrow fly in true. Yeah! Oh, I'm low on I'm low on SP. Glad you're here. Okay. Now let's just go ahead and hit a four. Now, what next? Lux Conjurer. My turn. Love you too, Hanny. Oh yeah, we have this. My, uh, my team is very well leveled. Of course, Hanat's almost out of HP here. My turn. Let's share it up. SP. Do you have any more energized pomegranate? Oh, just the large ones? Ah, uh, might as well. How about this? All right, check this out. Let me, holding back nothing. <sighs> Let me try using the um, try using the Phoenix Storm. Loosen the air. Sixteen thousand. My turn now. I should really be using. Uh, let's use a uh, inspiriting plum basket. Everyone needs SP now. <laughs> Ouch! Yeah. I am sorry. Let's in the hunt. Uh, that's begin. bad, that's bad, that's really bad. <laughs> Light! Okay. <laughs> ah, 
Nah, not good enough. Ouch. Ooh, Cyrus. Uh, I couldn't, couldn't afford to lose him. There we go. I'll not be defeated. Clear skills revived. In Alfred's name, be safe. Oh, she needs to do, um, she needs to do leg old trap. Better than a snake. Okay. There we go. My turn now. By the way, Hanny, I was waiting for you last night, um, to stream. Did you have something else going on? Okay, let's see what this one says. More Graham Crossford. How could I have been so wrong? All I thought of was bringing my beloved back to the world of the living. When Lightblack told me such a thing could be done, I was all too willing to swallow her pretty words. The moment I that I arrived before the gate, I felt a finger of ice run along my spine. Even if my mind had been too slow to recognize it, my very body was repelled by that gate. Or more precisely, what lay beyond it. While I struggled to catch my breath, Lightblack uh, sketched out a magic circle on the ground with practiced ease. As she traced each twisted line and rune, her hand never faltered. How many times must she have prepared for this moment of, in her heart of hearts? It was at that moment I realized how she had longed for this moment. How fiercely she desired to see the dark witch ritual to completion. Only by this ritual may the gate be open. It will not be pleasant for you, but you must bear it if you wish to see your beloved once more. So Lyblack spoke as she led me to the center of the magic circle. As she began the ritual, the first thing I felt was a great pain that struck my entire body at once. It was followed by a strange sensation like nothing I had ever experienced. I felt myself stretching and swelling from the inside out. From the corner of my eye, I saw my own hand uh, changing into something foreign and awful, and then the fear. Lyblack watched my transformation with a glow in her eye. It was then I knew this ritual was not intended to open the gate and bring my wife back to me. Yes, I know what truly lies beyond the gate of Finnis. That horror is what Lyblack sought to bring back to our world, and I was to be the vessel. I'd be lying if I said I had no idea this was coming. My conversations with Lyblack had led me to dis suspect that this ritual would not work for just anyone. It seemed that she needed my blood, the blood of House Crossford, descended from an ancient line of sorcerers. That is why I must be the one to prevent her plan from succeeding. For if I fail, she will only turn her sights upon my dear Kit. No, that I cannot allow. 
So while I realized before the end what Lie Black intended, I, I continued to accompany her in her aims so that I could see the truth of the ritual for myself and foil it however I could. Little did I know that I was dealing with a power far, far um, beyond any mortal's controller's conception. I felt my own sense of self growing faint and distant, and something else entirely filling me. I resisted it with all that I had, but that presence to that thing, a being like myself, a fragile human spirit, can be crushed as, crushed as easily as an insect beneath your heel. Then, just before my mind was completely consumed by the darkness, I saw the smiling faces of my wife and son one last time. I screamed. The memory of my wife gave me the power to resist at the last critical moment. I imagined Live Black herself did not think I would ever strike back at her, but I had only grown far stronger than I had been as a man. Even when I only managed to land a single blow to her, it cut her deep. She staggered back, and the ritual was interrupted. This is my chance! All I need to do is chase after- Oh! Holy crap. I'm a man! So yeah, it looks like he transformed into a monster. Okay. Well then. Let's use some healing grape punches. Beest thy will. Oh, it's what's his name? An interesting dilemma. Um... Yeah, Matthias. Glacius, go down. Primrose's final boss. Come in, if thou darest. I'm gonna try Axe first. Axe worked. <laughs> okay, uh, Rimor. Yeah, let's put ice on him. Although I bet you he um, he shifts his. Um... Well then. Yeah, let's just use it. Have this. I want to keep at least ten of them for the final battle. <laughs> Let the hunt begin. It. Yeah. Anger and not. Time to steal the show. Well then. Okay. But I can do this we'll do as um, Ophelia. I've been I've been making I've been doing that too much. Oh, he's already broken. Beautiful. Hunt. Yeah, those are her regular attacks. Coming. <laughs> oh, cause he's yeah, that's what ha what's happening. Um she has defense down. Okay. Not to do anything here. Oh yeah, let's do this. Benefic stars, keep the left side. Out of my way. Yeah. 
Anger and not a thousand. Now, what next? I'll be able to get the number of hits on him before an interesting dialogue. before he attacks. Oh, ice! Here's some proof. Unless that happens. Let's in the oh. Begin. Friggin' saved by Hanit. Whoa. Oh yeah. <laughs> yes. There we go. Let my arrow fly in true. She's ready for to use her ultimate on. Yeah, let's use. Lux There we go. My turn. Let's use ice. Ice. Okay. All right, we're going all out on this one. Matter of fact, we haven't used this one yet. Windhill, fight for this. Where's the nearest tavern? Oh, good. Cyrus, level up. Same with Therian. Okay. Let's see what this one says. Ah, from the Diary of Matthias. Once, I too believed in the teachings of the Sacred Flame. I led the people in its light as a servant to the church. No one could have doubted that I was anything but a pious believer in those days. When I look back upon it now, it all seems so very painfully foolish. Was it? When was it that I first began to doubt the flame? Perhaps it was after I met Lyblack? But no, that was that was but the catalyst to what was already growing within me. Even before Lyblack appeared, those feelings had taken root in my heart. The small village whose church I had been appointed to was destroyed in a conflag conflagration started by a capricious strike of lightning. The flames spread before we even knew what was happening. Before we knew it, we were engulfed in hell's fire. Countless were lost to the flames, even the innocent young children who had loved so dearly. They had committed no sins. They did not deserve to have their flesh seared and their bones turned to ash. So I prayed to the flame. I prayed and prayed that their lives would be spared. Fool that I was, even after they were dead and gone. I believe that if I prayed hard enough that, that there, they might return to us, that a miracle might occur. And so, I offered up every scrap of faith that I had had, until at long last I realized the truth. Believing in the sacred flame and praying to it would not bring about a miracle. And if my faith could not bring me and I, I love succor in our time of greatest need, then it was worthless. It did not matter to me if the power I needed was forbidden. I would use that power for the force of good and bring about miracles. That was the true faith to which my eyes were, were finally opened. It was not something I had been tricked to by another. I had reached enlightenment. It was only fitting that such a revelation came to me, our, the one true savior. While Lyblack like, might have not have been responsible for my enlightenment, I am still grateful to her. After all, she is the one who granted me the blessing of a thousand or of a hundred years free from aging. 
The dark secrets written in that tome can allow a man to cheat death, and I owe her a debt for sharing them with me. I gained eternal life, or close enough, as a true savior should, and then took it upon myself as my duty to s save as many people as I could with the power granted to me, and so I set out to kindle a darker flame in our realm. If the sacred flame could be weakened, yet more of Galdera's accursed power would seep through the gates of Finis, uh, through the gate of Finis, and I would be able to claim even greater strength for myself. I hid myself away from those in the church who wished to stop me, but the long march of time was my ally. It wore away the lives and the memories of any and all who once knew me, until it was um, as if my face had been washed away like words written sand. None who still live would remember me as an apostate to the church. With enough leaves, all things are possible. Even obtaining a new name is a little challenge. And so I worked my way back into the church's graces as the traitor Matthias. Um, even the venerable Archbishop Joseph did, um, did not suspect me for a moment. Every step of the day, fate has shown me that I am in the right. I was able to uncover Galdera's altar because I am right. I was able to use a fragment of Galdera's power to bring about, about a miracle because I am right. I could become savior of Whispermill and command his people to do my wishes because I am right. Assuming it as an ally, I never wanted for money nor power. The Obsidians served me well, whether they knew it or not. Simeon claimed never to have spoken of me to the others. I know not if he meant to use um, meant to use me as a secret weapon against the others, if the need ever arose, or if it was simply that he, that he did not trust me. But it hardly mattered. After laboring for so many decades, the time had come at last. I had succeeded in debilitating Archbishop Joseph with the position of the Obsidians had provided me. It was a beautiful poison. No one would ever suspect it was anything but a natural death. All that remained for me was to cast a dark shadow on the heart of Liana, the next flame bearer, and the sacred flame would soon burn black. That is what it was meant to be. That, that is what it was about to be. But no! Damn it all to the farthest reaches of hell! The culmination of all I had worked for was mere inches away, so close I could feel the kiss of the accursed flame. And instead, as all snatched away, that fire snuffed out to leave me in utter darkness and despair. I'm the savior! I was meant to bring Galdera's flame to the world! Why should I be left in this black hell? It is dark here. The blackness. It is all-consuming. Darker than a thousand starless nights. Please, someone. Anyone. Bring me some light. Oh, dang. Dang, Matthias. Okay, um... Hanat needs its spreading plums. Okay. Alright, I will be right back. <laughs> 